Paul Nichols here from Posabni Traders. Welcome back. It's been a while since I've had a video up, but we've had some busy times. And I just want to let you give you a little show as to what I've been All up right, to. So what we're looking at here is my take on the Dave Vandermeer floating beaver trap. Pretty close to being identical to Dave's. Um, I have a handle on the back. I just used some pipe strapping and some screws to hold down the sides of the wire. I used 24 inch wire, not 36 like Dave, and uh, I was able to uh, cut it down the middle of what I had left and it uh, fit on. So at the back here, uh, this is going to be my uh, snap for my tying to my pole so just put it around the pole snap it back on itself the unit can move up and down as it needs to i didn't have any of the black holes like what dave had but i had uh, this sitting around so that's going to be my bait holder put my bait in it i used 330 belials so as you can see here i have them set up and yes those are the Scott Neeland trap holder screws. They work pretty good. I built this to the same dimensions that Dave built his in his video. And it works good for the Belisles. So we'll uh, take them out see how they work. Got some nuisance, uh, some nuisance calls to do. And a couple of them are in some spots that are tough to get to. And over there you can see Miss Ivy. Just out for a little sniff. So also I could uh, secure my trap. Because I have the uh, snare wire on it here. Back to the uh, handle as well. But I thought I didn't want uh, a lot of weight back there, so I just put an eye leg in there and, of course, another quick link. Everybody knows I like those quick links. Uh, use them on my Martin boxes and Fisher boxes. Thanks for the idea, Dave. And uh, thanks also for... Uh, uh, the uh, Scott Neeland uh, screws there. Thanks Scott for uh, thinking of those and making those up. Happy trapping. And until next time, be safe, be happy, trap hunting fish.